Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing you a few uh, ideas for the home decor made out of wood. Alrighty, DIY number one. For this project, um, I'm going to be using a wood round. Uh, this one already has a, a wood grain, but the color really doesn't um, fit our aesthetics. So I decided to go ahead and um, kind of stain it with this wood tint. I just um, added one a little coat of this wood tint it is very very um, um light coat so what i did i uh, used the paper towel and just wiped it right off so that way it, it was just a little more lightened the whole color and it gave that um, cooler tone undertone Alrighty, now that that's done um, i am taking these um Jenga blocks. I got 12 of the, these Jenga blocks and I am going to hot glue these um, four together in a row. Now for this I am using um, glue stick for wood but if you don't have that you can use just regular wood glue. So after um, gluing these three sets of four I'm gonna hot glue uh, two of them together like so and after that I am um, hot gluing this the last one um, particularly standing up so perpendicular to um, the rest of them like so so that way it will create a little a ledge um, and i'm going to explain um, why i am creating this so i decided to leave uh, this raw but if you want uh, raw wood you can definitely paint stain whatever you feel like doing it so i'm going to um, use this in the middle of the wood round and then i'm going to use four larger wood beads to glue them on underneath like so. So when everything is nice and glued, this is how it looks like. So as you can see, I am creating the um, key holder or mail holder. So now I am taking this um, rope. It is macrame cord, I believe. Um, and I am just putting a little hot glue on one end to be able to uh, put these beads on it. That will, um, I believe I used 20 of them and that will uh, represent the, um, hanger part. So I am just looping it through this hole that's already on this wood round and I'm wrapping several times around um, itself and then I'm just hot gluing it in the back and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. That way um, there's not a knot and it just looks nice and seamless. I am making this a little bit tighter and then like I said I'm doing the same thing on the other side and after that this project is completed. This was very very simple. Now um, if you're not secure or if you're not maybe using the wood glue you can definitely um, use the nails on the back of uh, this to keep it more secure. Tell me what you think about this one. This video is part of the what would you make a collab with the hosts and, and a co-host that you see over here on a picture. There's so many other wonderful um, creators that share their wood ideas. And if you're interested in wood DIYs, this is a place to be. So check out the playlist in the description box to get a bunch of ideas. Um, if you are new to our channel, welcome. We're so happy to have you here. We share a lot of great ideas all on a budget. So if you like something like this, please subscribe and click on notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos also if you can um, if you like this video and if you can please give it a thumbs up that way this video will be promoted on youtube and um it will help us a lot Alrighty, diy number two for this project uh, this is a old ottoman leg that i actually saved and i already repurposed as you can see a long time ago so what i'm going to do now i am going to create the uh, candle holder. So I'm using a pillar candle to create a circle just to um, make sure to have a perfect size to drill. Now I don't have that drill bit that um, creates a circle so what I'm doing right now is just taking the largest drill bit that I have and I am just wiggling it around until I got the size that I need. When I was done uh, with that I when I was done with the size, creating the size that I need, I uh, took a little piece of sandpaper and I just sanded the edges around to be nice and um, smooth. After I was done with that, I um, went ahead and gotten um, just a little chisel to take off the hot, uh, wood glue or actually hot glue on the bottom. And after that, I'm taking little pieces of wood 
to put in this hole that was like a screw hole so i wanted to close it off so i'm using hot glue and pieces of wood to close it off as much as possible and after that i am going to fill up fill it up with the um uh, wood filler now i'm creating my own wood filler it is it, it if you don't know you can make it with the wood glue and um uh, wood sawdust so that's what i did over here i um, filled it up and left it to dry after everything was dried um, i went ahead and um, sanded it until smooth after that i am using the just a black um, acrylic paint from the dollar tree and i can tell you guys uh, this is the first time buying this from the dollar tree and i'm very impressed with this one especially the black one so um after everything was dried um, painted and dried it was such a nice beautiful uh, made color and that's exactly what i was going for so after it was done this is how it looks like and i want to show you um, style it with a pillar candle I think it looks so, so gorgeous, and um, this was so easy to make. Uh, if you don't have leg of a furniture, you can definitely use any wood block or anything like that to create this. Um, I wanted to share with you a few things I got from Timu. I got a Timu box, and this one is just a pet dog, uh, pet bed, and uh, my dog loves it. Okay, a couple of things that are perfect for woodworking, uh, which I love to do, is uh, one, of the, one of it is this jigsaw... Um, guide uh, which is perfect uh, to make a straight cut and i'm gonna uh, be using it in one of my next videos and this is you can see over here the guide how to use it i cannot wait to use it second thing that i got for crafting were these um, shears they are you know have several angles which i think it's perfect and they can cut so many things through so many things so you don't have to use a saw if it's like a smaller project and also it comes with two blades so let's see how it's going to hold up and i hope it, it will be a good quality it seems like it is Alrighty, next thing that I uh, got from Timu are these uh, stencils. I, I used a little piece of uh, black um, cardboard on the bottom, or actually cardstock on the bottom, so you can see the patterns. They're so beautiful, and I know I'm going to be using um, most of them, if not all of them, um, in my videos. And it comes with a, a ring key ring over here, so you can um, just hang it up and put it somewhere it is so convenient and they're great quality next thing are these wood rings uh wood um rounds there are five in the package and they're pretty thin but they're perfect for crafting and i'm sure you guys are going to see me using um them in some pre uh, next future videos okay these are a corner clamps and this is something that i definitely use um often and i'm so excited and then the next thing i got were these um um wood squares again they're very thin but they're perfect i think they're 30 in a package Alrighty, now diy number three for this project i'm going to be using those wood squares and i'm using 12 of them now for this project you can certainly go ahead and just get um, three pieces of wood planks and use that for um, this project but right now i wanted to use this so what i'm doing to um, make them thicker i'm doubling them up and using a wood glue to secure them together so I am go going to be left, as you can see over here, with six pieces. And now I'm going to glue these pieces together to create like a longer rectangular planks, if that makes sense. But like I said, you can definitely create this with leftover wood um, planks and it's going to be the same thing. After I left this to dry um, for several hours, now I have three pieces that are very, very sturdy. And I am going to... Um, put them together using these corner clamps um, and, a, and a wood glue to create kind of a um, box shape. This is going to be two corners, as you can see over here. What I'm creating for this project is actually that ledge. I don't even know how to explain it, like a, a ledge that goes on an armrest of a, a chair or an ottoman or actually um, couch that you can put your drink or um remote control or something like that and i really I wanted to use this because first of all i already had it on hand and second of all i wanted uh, something very sleek and um, not so chunky so right now when everything was dried um, i'm using wood filler to fill out some spots where i saw um, 
it's needed to be uh, filled out and then I am sanding everything nice and smooth and especially corners because I didn't want any of these corners to be rough and um, sharp so now I'm just painting everything with a white um, paint and I think I um, painted three good coats because I wanted a full coverage and after everything was done this is how it looks like I didn't want to add anything else to it I think it looks perfect and you're going to see in just a second how it looks here it is. I think it looks perfect. And this is exactly what I was going for. Now I want to hear from you. What do you guys think about these uh, projects? Which one was your favorite? Would you recreate any of these? Don't forget to check out um, the description box for the playlist uh, for this um, um, collaboration. And also, if you are interested in any of these uh, Timu products that I showed you in this video, you can check out my links in the description box and purchase them. I hope you have a wonderful day and we will see you in our next video. Bye, guys.